Hey guys, Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. Today we're going to take a look at a new bag I got, which is the One Tigris 34 liter. Uh, I believe it's a medium day pack. So one of the main reasons I got this bag is because it's lightweight. On my scale it weighs in at 2 pounds 11 ounces, so it's extremely lightweight. <clears throat> Uh, you know, this is a bag that's made overseas in China um, for uh, the price. I think it's an excellent value. I knew that I was not going to be getting Maxpedition or VanQuest uh, quality for the price. Uh, that being said, this is a very well constructed bag. Although I do think there are two areas uh, that need improvement. Uh, not really a big deal, you know, maybe more just personal preference, but we'll get into that. A little bit later uh, it is a 34 liter bag one thing that I really like is it has these straps on the bottom uh, so you can attach a, a bedroll there and as you can see I've got it cinched up uh, so this you could probably go out another another few inches in size it does have this flap on the front that would be a good place to hold a, a, a tablet uh, or a laptop if you had it in some kind of padded case and then it does have another pocket in there as well which I thought was cool there's another little velcro closed pocket up here and there's another pocket on the top now it's made from 600 denier uh, nylon uh, and it does uh, have some sort of uh, polyurethane coating on the back so while the seams aren't sealed uh, the bag itself is made from made from a waterproof material I like the I like this flap on the front and you can also use it to cinch down the front of your bag so if you did have a lot of stuff in there you can use this to tighten it up on the sides you see we got some pals webbing here and there is a, a a pouch on the side now the cool thing about this pouch is on the bottom it's got another little pocket uh, with the d-ring on the inside uh, so you could hang your keys in there to keep it from rattling around and speaking of rattles one great thing about this bag is the <clears throat> nylon cord pull tabs on the zippers. Um, I don't know if you've seen my other video on the One Tigers, the little mini duffel. Uh, it had metal pull tabs, uh, pull zipper pulls, and they're really noisy. They rattled around. So really nice to see on this bag that they just have they just have these uh, cords cords on the side instead of the metal, metal uh, zipper pulls. So on the other side you have the same configuration, a pocket here with another little pocket inside uh, with a D-ring. On the back uh, it does have some padding, probably three-quarter inch foam, feels very nice. Uh, the shoulder straps are a little thin, but honestly it's a lightweight bag. You know, this is this was something I've been carrying my US Army three-day bag and it is just heavy. I mean, you know, it's it's starting out at like five pounds right off the bat, and I just wanted something small for day hikes so that I, I wasn't carrying my three-day bag, which honestly it doesn't really fit fit me very well. And this bag fits really nice. Uh, even though the shoulder pads uh, are a little thin, they still feel good. There was no hot spots. They didn't dig in. Um, they have the adjustable sternum strap on the side, some D-rings. Um, they have these elastic loops through here, and then also on the top, it does have a, a hole for your water bladder. Uh, also, at the top, the shoulder straps click in here, and you can use them to to tighten up <clears throat> tighten up your shoulder straps to the pack, and then also cinch the bag down a little if you wanted to. Overall, really impressed, and uh, one thing that I found today, which I thought was pretty awesome, is the waist strap is removable. Uh, there are uh, two, there's a strap on either side, right here, connected through sort of a D-ring. You unhook those, there's Velcro that holds the waist belt uh, to the back. You can pull that off. The waist belt has molly all the way along the back, so you can actually use this as a standalone uh, gear belt. Now I did say there was two areas I thought that could be improved. 
Um, the first is the buckles. They do feel a little soft. They don't feel like your standard uh, nylon buckles. Maybe they're made out of uh, just, you know, plastic. And the, uh, the webbing on the belt strap is very nice. It's soft, and I would prefer a soft, flexible webbing around my waist, you know, to prevent it digging in. Uh, but I think that's one area that, that could be improved on this bag is just upgrading uh, the nylon webbing on the, the belt and then also on the, uh, on the shoulder straps. It doesn't, it doesn't slip at all, and they do have these really cool Velcro flaps. So once you get it adjusted, you can either cinch it down on there or you can roll up the extra like this and that that keeps those straps nice and nice and you know tidy uh, it is kind of annoying when you've got a bunch of straps hanging off and you don't know what to pull to tighten up or whatever I like these little D-rings right here. I was able to clip my uh, thermometer right on that side. And it does come with this cool One Tigris uh, little name tag here, which is uh, you know one of the um, rubbery ones with Velcro on the back. Uh, so what I have on the bottom is just my Harbor Freight wool blanket. It's the 80% wool. And then on the inside, uh, I just stuffed it with a couple uh, really large fleece blankets just to kind of fill it out and uh, and show you the size. But what I'll do is I'll pull the uh, pull the blankets out and uh, pull the uh, wool blanket off the bottom, and then I can show you a little bit of the inside. Okay, so looking at the inside of the bag, uh, we've got this cool snap loop up here at the top, which you can hang your water bladder from. We've also got uh, a nice big pocket there with two smaller ones on the outside. There is also a another sleeve, sort of a sleeved pocket here. Maybe your water bladder could go in there. Uh, you definitely could fit a piece of armor in there if you were so inclined or found that necessary. Uh, or water bladder, if I didn't say that twice. You can see, hopefully, that the inside does have a, uh, you know, a waterproof coating on it. Uh, but unfortunately the stitches aren't uh, seam sealed, so that would be an area where water could come in. And then spinning it around, this would be the outside of the bag, it does have a very cool zipper mesh pocket that's probably uh, about a foot square, so pretty handy for putting smaller items into. So here is the uh, the front panel, and with the panel down you can see we've got another another pocket right here. And then in the top, we have another pocket, another pocket right there. Good zippers, they, they pull very freely. And then let's go to the bottom. So here's your, here's your side pocket right here. And then underneath that, it has a pull away pouch. It's probably uh, looks to be about six inches square and then inside there's a d-ring sewn onto a little loop up there so a good spot to uh, put things that could potentially be noisy while you're walking around uh, keys is the perfect example okay guys so this is mark from oregon bushcraft and this is my review of the one tigress 34 liter day bag